So you are very good morning to students. Today we are going to learn about the, the part of ethics in mining. Uh, core plowing is one of the special uh, cutting pole cutting mission, for particular using the thin seams. Uh, where uh, the thickness is suitable for the height of the uh, core plows. Is uh, mostly it's called as a thick seam mining, not a thin seam mining. It's a thin seam mining, the better working by coal, coal plow. It's popularly plowing, sometimes a coal plow. Particularly, it is used for thin seams. So, the topic is better working by coal plow. So over the last 20 years, long this technology has rapidly developed. The winning of coal seam up to 0.5 meter thick is no more problem since high performance. The reliable long wall phase machinery uh, for thin seams are already in the mark. Uh, still more and uh, more finer developments are on the process. Much efforts has been exercised to develop the high efficiency. And reliable thin seam long wall piece. Missionaries like power supports, usually have carbon flexible conveyor, etc. And automations are also incorporated with those phase missionary, which improve conditions of working safety, increasing the speed of operation, improve production and productivity, reduction downtime, reduce production cost, etc. Coal flow. Uh, plow, phase conveyor and power supports, uh, these are the combination, uh, the couple plow can do work. Uh, core plow, a system which uh, has been manufactured more than 50 years or used for uh, mining the tip angles up to Forty degrees, coal strength up to the forty megapascals, forty megapascals, and the seam a thickness of zero point six meters to one point five, one point eight meters, and this flow system can be as efficient as a shear at this in the right condition. The coal plow system operates using a special design chain conveyor with a plow chain placed either on the pillar side of the ground side of the edge. The plow unit itself has a, a modular design and consists of a, a main body and intermediate pieces. The plow is a, equipped with a cutting fix a blade to extract the coal in the slices across the face. While basic principles of the plow system have not changed over the year. Uh, there have been steady improvement and increasing in the dry power. The size of uh, the plow chain and the speed of the plow they have gone through the several stages of design with the various type of uh, plow used uh, alongside each other of the many years. At present, two type of plow machines are used to one with the plow guide and the chain on the face side, known as uh, Giltobal plow and other uh, the plow guide and a chain on the both side, known as a sliding plow. Uh, the sliding plow has its base uh, fast end to steel plate, uh, which move underneath the conveyor. This uh, steel plate is designed with a hinge connection. Enabling it to the smooth uh, out of the unevenness of the flower. The hollow chain is an enclosed in the run along the both side of the conveyor. And this type of flow is uh, suitable for the mining. And the same with the lower core strength and the, the more solid core work by the lower thickness seam because access to the chain and the both side is easier. Gilloptable plow. In a in a plow, the plow unit is a full 
by chain on the cross face side of the leaves there is a no steel plate under the developable plow compared to the slide plow the greater efficiency of the developable plow system allows coal to cut utilization higher power the plows are uh, therefore more suitable for mining coal for higher strength and uh, for thickness for strong coal it is necessary to plow the entire thickness of the seam whereas the coal is with the lower strength and good clinch uh, is sufficient to cut the bottom part of the seam and allow top part of the wall on the edge depending upon the thickness of the seam and the condition of the mine the coal flow system may be operated with the power of supports with the individual hydraulic supports only for the uh, this type of plows are used uh, these are the very types of that for four plows on the base flow type of okay. so most of these names are in russian names this will be called club double so this is a plan view of four plow system It is showing this here. This is again a face that you can get started. The core plow is employed on a non-cyclic uh, long wall face with a prop in front. The core plow is a machine which is uh, mounted on a, an armored chain conveyor and cut a slice of coal, 100 mm to 200 mm. For the entire working night of the scene during its travel along the face. Uh, the cut coal is loaded on the conveyor by ram, which is built, uh, which is built part of the plow, and which follows the cutting teeth. Separate arrangement. Core plows are used in large scale in Germany or in other European countries. The same thickness suitable for a, its operation uh, from 0.6 to 2 meters. The plow consists of four or more teams basically nearly vertical planes, fixed to a base plate, which is mounted on an armored chain conveyor and given the motor chain. The motor is usually situated over the armored chain end of the conveyor. The hauling chain pulls the plow down. Core face and it's a threaded through a 150 mm diameter tube attached to the conveyor all along the face. The two ends of the chain passes in the two scrollers, one at each end of the conveyor. And are finally attached to the plow. The plow cuts the thin web core for the travel. Conveyor, 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 and the flower held onto the face of the entrance. Face reaching to the along the left side of the face conveyor. Whereas the gof is hard water infusion of the face. It precedes the plowing of the water infusion is processing of drilling 1.2 1.1 meter deep. Hold space to 3 to 6 feet apart around the Face at 45 degrees to it. Moderate height was at 6 to 9 inches. And the water infusion was faced not only the plowing easier, but it also helped effective coal dust suppression. Uh, one second I have given here. Same uh, 
over the last 20 years, the long phase technology has rapidly developed. The winning, of course, in up to 0.5 meters. It is no more problem since high performance in the reliable long phase missionary. The theme seeing already in the market is still more and more. Finer development in the process. Much effort has been exercised to develop the high sensing, reliable thin sing along the missionary like power supports, shaded armor physical conveyor, etc. And automations are also incorporated with those phase missionaries, which improve conditions of working safety, increasing the speed of operation. production and productivity, reduce the downtime, reduce the production cost. So there are the passing system is there, plough is going and uh, cut. The return is also sometimes not possible like a shader because of single one. Over processing and bi-directional processing systems are there and support cutting is concerned. So over processing is a passing, it's in a plugging speed to be Conveyor speed is a 2 to 2.5 meters to 4. Uh, that's core plug move with the high speed. Uh, then that of a hardwood phase conveyor. Uh, generally, the plow operation is carried out by this passing system to maintain the constant flow of the bridge conveyor. These are two types, overpassing unidirection, overpassing bidirection. So these are the both the same, it is a bidirection, unidirection, bidirection. So this is a unidirectional distribution figure. The tail end. The drive hand probably started here and cutting to the this face left. This is 4.8 meters. This is a power supports, little power supports. Stage loader, drive head, stage loader. Overpassing unidirection. Simple figure, uh, right? To mention that the cross symbols are the power symbols. Not defended is there along the face of the uh, in between uh, gate loads and club is one side. So once you start, you can just uh, drive it, move this side. And the second time it is not there because if you have to advance and ready for the next bit. This will over pass in the direction of method of cutting. Flow at the tail end of this. Here is going to uh, is at the tail end of this. Power supports from the number 1 to 100, uh, 100 to number of bonds. AFC snake from the tail end to drive out of the AFC. So, AFC is a uh, mode from the tail end to drive out. So, this is a here. From here to here, there is advanced, so ready to cut. So, to here, here. so tail end to main end. Main end. Oh, 
four passing unidirectional method, direction of pole conveying, direction of plow cutting is also same direction. Direction of the pole conveying, direction of plowing is both in the same direction. Okay, so this Plow cuts the coal from the tail end to the rear side of the AFC. Plow is at the dry rate and the AFC. Since plowing speed, conveyor speed is 2 to 2.5, when the plow reaches the dry rate of the AFC, coal will be reached the rear of the AFC. Overpassing in unidirectional method is the overpassing in unidirectional method. Without snaking of AFC, start moving the plow at a high speed in the reverse direction. Plow reached at the top high end of AFC. Canvary is uh, still um, unloading coal on the stage road. Overpassing unidirectional method. Snaking AFC predominated over distance from the tail end of the trader of the AFC and start plowing operations from the tail gate. Go to the main gate rate during the second cycle of plowing operations. And the plowing will be reached right in the remaining pool from the first cycle of operation. He unloaded on the stage loader. This is the overcrossing bidirectional. So both are different. C, A, B, A, sociology. Cut the bidirectional. So 4.8 meter plum, tail end, A, F, C, towards the force, 1 to 100 number. Drive head of A, F, C, stage loader. We did this towards this one. So tail end is there. Upside and it is this along with the downward side. Right, then probably is at uh, uh, tail end of uh, the UFC. Uh, power supports from the tail end to drive head of the UFC are advanced. UFC snake from the tail end of the drive head. Overpassing bi directional method, direction of pole conveying uh, under. Direction of the coal panel. Plow cuts the coal from the tail end to drive head of the UFC. Plow is at the uh, drive head of the UFC. Since plowing speed, conveying convert speed is 3 to 2.5. And the plow reach the drive head of the UFC. To reach the rear of the UFC. Overpassing bi directional method. So, 
ready to our next battles. Yes, it's next uh, from the driver to the tail end. The plow cuts the coal from the driver to the tail end. And the same plowing speed at the depth. Or passing by direction method. Uh, 200. Or passing by direction method. Plow is again at the tail end of the AFC since the plowing speed can be. Speed 2 to 3 is going in this overpassing direction, direction method. For poor plowing, the AFC will be filled up to 2 to 3 plowing cycles. And hence, thereafter, AFC will be uploaded and poured on the stage over the right of the road. Coal plow, coal plow, phase conveyor, power supports. The coal plow is moved on a non cyclic long wall, uh, face with the prop free front. Coal plow is a machine which is mounted on an R put chain conveyor and cut a slice of coal 100 mm to 200 mm. From the entire working height of the scene uh, during its travel along the face. So, seam hardness up to uh, 300 kg per centimeter with the increase in power, it may be more. Seam height 0 0.5 meter to 4 meters, maximum up to 200. 205 meters also height will be possible. The general up to uh, 60 inches and however with motor and technology the abrasion may be same plow power plow ability. The plumbing resistance and the traverse reaction process is low. These are the general considerations. For the core blow is constrictions. Floor condition harder and the floor better than plugging condition. Roof condition it should be normal. Seam structure must be good. And they're free from the raw touching ventilation, etc. Geological disturbances free from the 
fault told uh, etc Now cut me uh, pull from the trailing to the trailer head of the UFC. Plow at the drive head of the UFC since uh, plowing speed, uh, conveyor speed, or can cover each the driving head of the UFC. Core will reach there after a while. Overpassing the inward direction method. Uh, Without snaking the FC, start moving from the plug at the high speed in the reverse direction. Plow reached at the tail end of the FC. Conveyor is still unloading code on the stage loader. Overpassing the unidirection method. Snake the FC to the predominant distance from the tail end of the tail end. AFC starting plugging operations from the third gate road to the main gate road during the second cycle of plugging. Uh, the plowing will be reached uh, the remaining port from the first cycle operation will be uh, unloaded on the stage loader. Uh, So the overpassing by direction method this is uh, in this method uh, the both sides it will be cut uh, overpassing of the direction uh, in two direction the pole will be get Plow cut core from the tail end uh, on drive head to the UFC. Plow is at the drive head of the UFC. Since plowing speed,
the plow at the drive head of the FC since plowing speed, conveying speed, uh, two to two point five is to one uh, when the plow reached the drive head of the FC. This overpassing bidirectional method. AFC is taken from the drive head of the tail end, plow cut coal from the drive head to the tail end, the same plowing speed and depth. Overpassing bidirectional method. Plowing is again at the tail end of the AFC since the plowing speed, conveyor speed in the Two, two, three, east, one. In the overpassing bidirectional method of coal, plowing the IFC will be filled up to the two to three plowing cycles. Hence, the thereafter IFC will be unloaded coal on the stage loader at full load. So, these are the uh, top. We have to hear the uh, coal plow uh, bi directional and unidirectional in a different uh, fashions. This is the overpassing bi directional review. Once coal plow is a exclusive format for thin sieves, uh, 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 used extra metal resource uh, uh, different uh, Seams, medium seams, high productivity. You'll make the most of every type of coal with the world's most advanced low seam long wall system.
the plowing system in underground mine can be described the nut cell as a eating throw coal at uh, depth uh, up to 1300 meters in uh, uh, 2015 new cat pillar uh, put into operation for the germany north of most coal mines in, uh, there is a the cut and uh, extraction the around one meter thick holes in. the company made this uh, investment with the uh, to develop the operative business with the surface and underground mine. Equipment from the caterpillars has set up its own competition center from the year after the takeover, the sales of the services activities for the caterpillar mission. With this order, we have achieved, uh, this company achieved minor uh, sanitation. So, uh, we are for cat distribution worldwide, uh, but uh, production. The mechanism is a simple mechanism, caterpillar mechanism. There is a huge difference between the plow versus shearer. Uh, shearer is for uh, exclusive for thick seed mining. It is useful. Plowing is a coal mining method invented in the early 1940s. parties. Many different plow models were designed and tested underground. Until in the mid 1990s, only two models remained. Uh, Russian uh, home bell or base plate uh, plow, uh, popularly called base plate plow, and the uh, gliding plows. Both of these two are popular base plate plow and gliding plow. Horsepower and plow speed have uh, increased uh, steadily over time, but it, uh, it was not until the, uh, 1989 that the biggest weakness of the plow system was overcome. Uh, the introduction of the automated uh, plowing with uh, defined cutting depth. This advancement finally allowed plowing uh, to become to become The most productivity mining method for the seam below the 1.8 meters thick. Uh, the technology step came from the caterpillar uh, procedures. How the plowing principle is simple uh, steel plow body equipment with uh, strategically placed cutting bits to its pull along the face conveyor from one end of the face to the other by. Continuous loop chain powered by uh, driving located at the face end. Cutting depth is uh, electronically controlled by the pushing the AFC towards the core face. The pre preselected increments after the plow has passed. The height of the plow body is easily and uh, completely adjustable within the center certain range. Uh, ensuring that the only coal is cut the plow body height can also be adjusted in large increments by installing or removing additional bit blocks both adjustment can be performed quickly and easily from the uh, go side the plow body the plow body consisting of the mechanically components uh, with all wear parts of the being replaced underground a shield can be positioned to best suited the long wall geology of the and normal advance automatically in a connecting with the cutting action of the plow. Uh, now operators is required within the long wall phase. Uh, uh, itself operation can be controlled from the central control station, uh, either underground, for example, at the Head gate entry or on the surface. As a result, the operations are not subjected to difficult working condition. Instead, they can locate at a safe distance away in the dusty and uh, dusty free area. The outer ringer steering system provides vertical horizontal control. Steering is a normally operated manually, but can be automatically uh, automatically.
fast production. Uh, the majority of the mining industry agree and that the long haul method is more effective too. and uh, pillar mining low seeds uh, with much much 50% uh, of coal can be lost during the room and pillar where a disagreement sometimes occurs in, uh, in the determining whether the plow or shearer are the best choice of the long wall operation and the uh, truth of both the, uh, the right choice of the different geological formations there was a time when the applications of plow for the long wall mine was uh, limited by the hardness of the coal, the cut advancement, drive control and uh, transmission system. The more powerful motor, st stronger plow, chain increases plow speed, higher advanced force provide the roof supports, precision control of the cutting depth and plow pitch, uh, design improvement, all combined uh, to make plow preferred method is low and medium seam height. With the latest advancement in plow, uh, there are many common uh, methods out uh, there. So with this, I am going to conclude this uh, coal plot. So over processing with the uh, unidirection, bidirection, uh, locations of uh, tile gate end of the plow, against the face it will be cut and also an advance with the uh, supports need to the face. Uh, the second direction also cutting. So summary, after the completion of this topic, you are learn explain the overpassing in you know, directional plowing with the case study. Some assignment questions are there, which is helpful for the other reset and other competition examinations purpose. Go through the one one by one. Overprocessing is the process of fixing a plowing speed to con conveyor series uh, 2 to 2.5, 3 to 3.5, 4 to 4.5, all the above. So, so, suitable for fixing plowing speed as per the standardized. Core plow is applied at long wall phase, board and pillar phase, room and pillar phase, all the this is long wall phase. Coal plow is exclusively for main for a or more regular phase. But uh, only for the long wall phase, it is suitable. Coal plow is mounted on belt conveyor, scrapper chain conveyor, snaker conveyor, armor face conveyor. Coal plow is mounted on belt conveyor, scrapper chain conveyor, snaker conveyor. Armored face, which one is, a, is the best one? So, mostly it is armored face conveyor. It's all mounted on the face. Core plow is employed on angle face, board and pillar face, room and pillar face. Overpassing bidirectional method, uh, plow. Uh, in overpassing bidirectional method, the plow cut the coal uh, from the tail end to drive head, cut the coal from the drive head to tail head, both none of the coal. So it is a bidirectional means both directions, so that uh, it is cut the both directions so from the tail end to drive head from the drive head to tail head so bi-directional means both directions so that the answer is C, both Overprocessing is a process uh, fixing a plumbing speed to conveyor speed is overprocessing is a process of fixing a plumbing speed speed of conveyor is core cutting is loaded on the conveyor by ramp 
loader, dumbbell loader, or the ramp only. Tool cut loader in the conveyor by loaders. In case hard coal falling techniques use water, dusting, water spraying, water infusion. So with this, these are the modes of the whole plow is concerned. So I hope that you are able to understand the whole plow technology and code types. Cutting method and uh, the applicable of conditions and transportation techniques. These are your uh, learned in this class. I hope that you are enjoyed today's class. I wish you all the best. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.